I photographed many bereaved families at Arlington Cemetery. And one day I saw this lady, and every day she goes to her son's grave. She sits in front of her son's grave and she reads to him. Very cautiously approached her and I said, would you allow me to take a picture? She was very gracious, very polite. She agreed, nodded her head. She took the book that she was reading and placed it at the base of the headstone and got behind the stone and cuddled it as if she's embracing her son. So the whole thing was highly charged. And I didn't even notice that the book that she was reading is the Quran. And I didn't even read what's on the headstone because I was looking at her face. But there was a Muslim name on the headstone. It turns out that this lady's name was El Shabar Khan. And um, her son was an American Muslim, and she's an American Muslim, and her son died fighting for America. We published this picture in the New Yorker as a large-scale photo essay, and we called it Service. About a week later, I think it was 16 days before Election Day, General Colin Powell went on the news, and he made uh, what became uh, a historic announcement and he said, I'll be voting for Senator Barack Obama. I have heard senior members of my own party drop this suggestion. He's a Muslim and he might be associated with terrorists. This is not the way we should be doing it in America. I feel strongly about this particular point because of a picture I saw in a magazine. It was a photo essay about troops who were serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. And one picture at the tail end of this photo essay was of a mother in Arlington Cemetery. And she had her head on the headstone of her son's grave. And his name was Kareem Rashad Sultan Khan. And he was an American. Now, the devastating thing for me is that it's eight years later. I'm publishing these pictures in a book. Unfortunately, it's very relevant. Because we have allowed ourselves, as we enter into the last stages of the next election campaign for president, we have allowed ourselves as a society to become divided again. And we have stopped focusing on the things that unite us, the things that we have in common. And we have allowed ourselves to become frightened and to focus on the things that make us different. That's very dangerous to America because we are so different as people and yet we are so united as a community. And we must start focusing on the things that unite us.